Right guys, take two fresh housemates, lightly toss them off in the drizzle of rain, hearts broken, feelings torn, done. Celebrity hijack. Tonight's the night you give Liam and Victor their marching orders in a double whammy of an eviction. You can see them right there. There they are. Slightly static, it has to be said. Uh, they've been sat in the holding room for nearly an hour with just each other for company. I can tell you, Victor fell asleep. <laughs> uh, the fact they had a cameraman in, uh, in there who's under strict instructions not to say anything. Going to be speaking to them in just a sec. But here's what's happened uh, when they found out the bad news. <laughs> and I can now reveal that the second housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Celebrity Hijack house is... Liam! That's all right. And the third housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Celebrity Hijack house oh is... Well, guys. Victor! <laughs> Take it easy, Good run, brilliant. Why it couldn't be just me and my brother? It's fine, you know. She survived now over two boys. That's impressive. You all right, Jerry? Yeah, fine, yeah. Wow. I have to okay. fucking cook. I don't want to fucking cook. <laughs> Uh, please welcome Liam, everyone. <laughs> nice, isn't it? I mean, I know it's probably been a quite a surreal hour for you, but first things first, how does it feel to be out? Because you seem like you really liked it in there. I loved it. Um, I said to myself before I came out, I said, I'd like to come out 40%, but I want to stay in 60%, mm -hmm. you know? I'm looking forward to reality. Um, but I love, I love the show. It's been I love fun. the way already he's breaking it down into business. I like to come out 40%. I'll stay in 60 minutes. Good maths. Uh, you're up against Victor, Amelia and Jeremy. Did you expect to go? I thought it would be me and Victor, definitely, yes. Why? Um, I don't know. I think I was quite quiet or maybe perceived quite quiet. Um, and Victor was quite loud. So, a bit of a cool I mean, I guess there. the thing you kept coming back to was when it came to the diary room and, and you kept saying, you know, it's like your terminology, the people that think outside the box, and, and um, unfortunately you felt quite boxed in there, didn't you? Definitely, I couldn't think anywhere but in, in the house, you know? I was stuck on spellings and everything, you know? Yeah, yeah, OK. Uh, Victions were done a bit differently this week. How did it feel to be put up by Joan Rivers? I think the line which she used kind of got me a bit... Yeah. You took your career in your hands. Yeah, there might be a lot of that coming up, mate, mm. so... Uh, <laughs> that'd be too freaked out. You only got one nomination uh, the week before, and part of that was due to the fact that you gave too much information. What do you think you gave too much information about? Um, my leisure time. <laughs> wish, if we nice pre-watershed way of putting it. Uh, let's take that. <laughs> so tell me about your sex life. I've had sex with quite a lot of people. How many? It, it works out like about 40 guys and about 20 girls. It's naughty. <laughs> I've had a few orgies. Are you a sex addict? A bit, yeah. Do you remember when you first like become really horny? I tried to have sex with a, with a cushion. <laughs> I thought you were quite heroic the other morning when you were awakened in the middle of um, having a wank. And he went on with it, and I thought, good for you. OK, he masturbates. Big deal, you know. That's a piece of intellectual honesty not often matched on a programme like this. Liam, put away the lubricant and get in here. Hope they didn't zoom in on my face. I think the face is the last thing you have to worry about. Did you finish? Of course I did. <laughs> I just think sex is good, you know? OK. the interview like this. Um, why, did you, why did you get so expressive about your sex life with the rest of the housemates? Because pretty, you're pretty much the only person that did. It's not a crime, but why, what was the reason? I wanted to be myself. I wanted to be open. Um, I think a lot of people in there are not open enough, so I wanted to kind of try and encourage them to be a little more open. Open is good, but for the rest of the interview, if you could just have your hands where I can see them, I'd really... 
<laughs> really appreciate that. Um, now, I mean, I, I think the tipping point for you in, in, in that sense was Brian Sewell when he came in and he was big brother for the day because he kind of let the cat out of the bag, if cat's the right word. Um, <laughs> how did he feel when he said you'd, you'd sort of been meowing in bed, as it were? Um, I was a bit shocked and I was just kind of praying that it wasn't um, broadcast. But, um... <laughs> but then again, it's kind of, it's, it's funny because then again, you're your own guy and you wanted to go in and you wanted to be honest with people and you're, you know, you say you, don't, you didn't do it to shock, you just wanted to be your own person. So you must have expected some of that to get on camera as well. At the end of the day, you know, there's beautiful girls in there. Uh, I'm 19, it's, you know, you're in an enclosed environment. Oh, I, don't need, I don't need names. <laughs> From the bank. <laughs> cool, you know. Uh, now um, you, you seem to spend a lot of time on your own in the bathroom, singing, and meowing. Um, what did you find most difficult about about being in the house? Um, being with like so many different people, and not being able to escape from them. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go in the bathroom, but somebody would always come in. And yet, uh, you, you never sort of had. There was never a breaking point. You never looked like you were getting particularly frustrated with one person or another. Do you know what I mean? You got you, you got on quite well with everyone. I like everybody for different reasons. There was a few diff different dislikes in the past few days, but... You who know. didn't you... who sort of irked you in the last couple of days? Uh, Callista a bit. In what way? Um, she just annoys me a bit now. Things on a day-to-day -day basis, she's a bit rude sometimes. OK. Um, Anyone else? Not really. OK, cool. Just Callista, really. Uh, since you've been in the house, people on the outside have questioned what you told me about, about your business, which, so we want to give you a chance to reply. <laughs> um, uh, one of the accusations is you host 150 customers, not 2 million. 150? Definitely not, no. Okay. We don't host 2 million customers. The network which we're based on hosts 2 million customers. You're, ne you're now doing flybys over my head, so I just... <laughs> uh, I don't understand what that means. Uh, your company is shut down whilst you're in the house, just whilst you're in the house, because you're there. Oh, um, yes. I yeah. thought you meant it, it, something happened. Oh, no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> I'm not giving you bad news, don't worry. Um, is that true? Did it sort of shut down temporarily while you're in the house? Uh, no. Some services which we provide have... Um, I was planning on planning them from January to March. So from January to March, we're not actually providing. Uh, you don't actually have any employees apart from your mum as a secretary. Is that true? No, definitely not. No. I met your mum, and I imagine she'd be a brilliant secretary. Um, okay, we get back to the house. Um, who did you get on best with? Because you were—it's it's odd because you were a loner, but not in a bad way. You just sort of did your own thing. Um, I think uh, most. I think John and Anthony were my favourites, really. Um, past few days, great people, great chats. You know, I really yeah. like them a lot. Sure, OK. Uh, you're accused by Jeremy of being very touchy-feely. Did you actually fancy anyone in the house? Um, if so, who? Amy, at one point. Um, I think Amelia. everyone slightly fancies Amy in the house, though, don't they? Intelligence, you know. She's so intelligent. Mm -hmm. You fall in love with intelligence, you know. OK. And Amelia as well. She flirts with everybody. Is, is Amelia a big flirt? Definitely. Because I'm, from, we're, we're seeing the majority of her and Jeremy as the relationship, but is she quite, is she quite um, flirty with most people? Definitely. OK. Uh, now, I have to ask you, lastly, uh, the hair. Um, we love the hair, but it looks so weighty that, like, you have to keep your head like that. So, is, is, that, is that the case? Um, it, it kind of... I've got to flick it over like this all the time. It's got to have, have like, hang over here. It looks quite high-maintenance hair. I was only allowed to take in a certain amount of product as well, so, you know. But doesn't this hurt? Because I'm sort of now kind of doing an artist impression of you, and, and even though you're brilliant, this just... this would irk me slightly. You get used to it. Okay. I, I like my hair. <laughs> Liam, you're in a brilliant housemate. Here are your best bits. <laughs> Meet housemate number nine. It's Liam. Hey. hey. Did your hair stop saying Oh, wicked. Did you hear this impression of you? No, I'm going to leave I love Liam. He's weird, but weird in a good way. I can scream and cry and how happy I am. <laughs> I started my first business when I was eight years old. Business is all about image. And you jerk it out. William's happy just doing his own thing. Did you wank or something? Oh, Liam! Was it a date with your left hand? Shut up, hush your mouth, can't you hear you talk too loud? He's so keen on doing his hair. I've never seen a hairstyle like this. You have to hurry up, for God's sake, stop doing your hair. I, I believe there's three types of people in this world. One person who thinks in the box one person who thinks out of the box and one person who creates a box. It's intense being here, you know? In this place, all I can do is think inside the box. Jerk it, out. it seems like I haven't been able to express myself and I think people are kind of noticing. Yeah. It's meowing. It's really creepy. I just don't know what to do. I just hope I'm not perceived as some weirdo. 
No matter what they call us However they attack Emo Marco is <laughs> Liam, you took your career into your own hands. I love it. I love every minute of it. You loved it in there. Um, finally, since your admission that your first love was indeed a cushion, uh, we've been inundated with requests. We've had letters, emails all over the world, people, from groupie cushions, and we have a queue of cushions uh, waiting for you right now. Can we just take a look at them there? Well, there they are. They're outside. <laughs> Tickle my tassels. We've got uh, I Love Liam, and we had to take a lot of those posters uh, and the banners away as well. Unzip me. <laughs> so they're ready for you whenever you need to. Knock yourself out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Liam, everyone. <laughs> All righty, join me in a moment. We're, we're going to be talking to the second housemate to get the boot tonight. It is Victor. He's limbering up to his interview, and you can join him with me in four. <laughs> OK, welcome back to Big Brother Celebrity Hijack, and welcome, everyone, Victor! <laughs> How's it going, Vic? Very well. You're all right. OK, first things first, um, how gutted are you to be out? Are you gutted? I miss everyone, you know. It's, it's, I tell you the truth, everyone in there is fantastic. Uh, the people really make that house. You know, in the house, there's nothing I can't... There's nothing I really miss in the house. The kitchen or the sitting room, it's all, for me, it's not important. But the people really are, you know, whatever we've passed, we're all going to remain friends, I'm sure. You look like you were glad to go. Uh, a lot of people do that. It, sometimes it's fakery, other times it isn't. But you look like you were genuinely stoked to go. Could you handle another week in there? Or not? I, don't, I don't think so. I don't okay. think it was made. I don't think the Big Brother house is something that I could control emotionally. I'm a very emotional person and it's very hard. Really? You? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, how did you feel when, when Anthony was given the choice of everybody and put you up? I, I told Anthony, I said, you know what, you made the right choice. I said, he can see that. He can see me. He's not a stupid guy, Anthony. He's a great guy. I want him to win it. I know. I, you know, I just say that because he's a really fantastic person. And I told him straight to his face, he was crying, you know, the guy was emotional. He yeah, went through yeah. the SAS and then this, and then I felt so bad for him. So I said to him, look, man, you made, great, you made a great decision. I would have made the same decision if I was you, you know, but, thank you. But, because you'd survived the week before. I survived the week before, and he knew that the one week was enough for me. He could see my face every day. I was, I was, I don't know what to do. OK, I mean, we have to get on to Amelia. Uh, last week, eight housemates nominated, nominated you. The main reason was because you spoke to, the way you spoke to Amelia. Did you... It was joke. It's, I know, yeah. I, OK, yeah, but let's just take that to one side. Do you realise that it was, it made everyone else feel so uncomfortable? I think that, you know, when you're, when you're in there and you're with your sister, sometimes you play around and people don't understand it because we, we really love each other, me and my sister. It's just time to time we have a little bit of a hard, you know, uh, hard to get game, you know, like, oh, yeah, you do something for me and then she'll say, so you do something for me, you know. It's, it's definitely nothing malicious between me and my sister. I mean, people can feel uncomfortable because they're not used to that. Uh, but in Italy, everyone, because my father's Italian, and the mm. way my sister was brought up from the age of 12 was to look after me. Because I can't, you know, I, I literally can't do it for myself, literally. You I don't would, you know. say. <laughs> <laughs> do you think Amelia ever minded the way you spoke to her? Because no, sometimes just, you could see that, maybe, you know, yeah. like, it's tricky because everyone has a different relationship with a brother and sister, yeah? yeah? Of and course. of course, you're the only people in there that are siblings. But at the same time, um, you know, sometimes it looked like she was really hurt. I wouldn't say that. I think, yeah, there was time to time that we talked about something that wasn't about me or her. It was something that I would warn her about something, like, oh, you didn't do that, or she would be upset about that because she'd think I would think wrong of her. But at time to time, I was worried about her because I know that, I know that people are more um, strict with girls than boys. Boys can get away with a lot more, and mm -hmm. I'm sometimes very scared for her. So maybe time to time, you know, but there, there was two or three times that, we, that she was upset with me and did apologise. Did you ever I, think you ever stepped the mark? Really? Yeah, yeah. I did, I did feel like there was time that I did overdo it because, you know, you can't, you can't push your sister too much, you know? Sure. Definitely, especially one like my sister, she's already feeling... She's already got some, some things that we can't talk about, but uh, they're going into the house, so, you know, it was hard for her. Sure. And it's de definitely, she would have been the same like me today. She was, she, she's feeling very hard to stay in there as well now. OK, let's take a look at you in action, rude boy. <laughs> it's really weird to have your brother in the house. What? Annoying you all the time. I'm seriously, get Amelia to make me some breakfast. <laughs> to be speaks to his sister. It's just a bit sort of degrading and a bit out of order. Oi, 
stove. I'm fucking hungry. Girl, go get me a cup of tea now. Maybe a tea, sis, <laughs> slave. Who does he think he is? I think it's really rude. Don't give a shit. Amelia! Big Brother wants brothers like Victor that he should be making Amelia's breakfast in bed for her. I can't cook very well. Is that my fault? Victor's a little bitch. That's oh. <laughs> it. just looks like he kind of barks at her sometimes. Sei una grande troia. Yeah, Victor, don't start talking like that on TV. Yeah. Listen. He's got to be less chauvinistic. Yeah. Amy, give me a big kiss. Come in. Tree. Sit on my lap. <laughs> Don't touch me. I think I'll give you some loving, and then you'll feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look mortified when you were watching that. It's crazy. It's crazy. I was. That's all taken really jokingly when you're in there because everyone has a laugh. Yeah. But yeah, you I was called so... your sister a big whore. No, I was joking. I was joke. <laughs> That's a joke. I said like that. I said, Amelia, no fun. In Italy, you but say you, this. Are you because... kind of worried about her and Jeremy because they're getting close? Is that what it is? Is it protective? No, it was nothing like that. It's just hello. Some... Uh, <laughs> massage, deep tissue going on. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, you know, some. I didn't know. It's many things that you can't see in those those videos. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Steady. What? Steady, fella. <laughs> Sit down. No, Sit there. no, no. It was, no, really, me and my sister, we are like that, and we will always be like that, of you course, know? No everything, one's questioning. Everything we do together is... But would you be happy if these two got it together, cos they were a nice-looking <laughs> couple? No, I... No. <laughs> you, you like Jeremy. I do like Jeremy. I just don't think he's good enough, now, is he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Finally, we get to it. OK, no, now, listen, nice um, you, you, we saw you lose your temper uh, after the fake argument, the whole Latoya J thing. Now, yeah. you're not a bad guy, but you, you, you seem quite angry and quite very emotional. I mean, do you ever stop yourself and go, I need to count to ten before I destroy the furnishings? <laughs> because, I mean, when I saw it, like, it was quite uncomfortable watching you hit that wall. You know, and it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. It's some things that I've been through in my life which I don't like to talk about, but it's definitely... Arguments are not one thing I like to play around with, and definitely I, time to time, get emotional over things that I shouldn't do. And I definitely know that afterwards, but it's always at the time. Do you think you've learned from this experience? Definitely, in that definitely, yeah. That's why I'm happy I've done the Big Brother, because it's taught a lot about myself. I, I know I'm... I know I've got a lot to learn. I'm, so, I'm still young, you know, I'm yeah, only yeah, 19 yeah, at the end of the day. People think you're older than you are sure. sometimes. But you're not, you know, you're, it's a few years, and definitely being on TV, you don't, we don't think about the cameras a lot of the time. We're just yeah. getting along with it. We're trying to pass time some of the times. People make jokes like that because they want to pass time. Sure. And other people take them wrongly, like I did. Two quick questions. Um, do you fancy anyone in there? No, I didn't. I didn't. Not even Amy. Hello. I loved Amy because she was so she was so cold with me. That made me really happy because I wanted to try and get her. You know. And but very very briefly, uh, who do you want to win? I say Anthony. You want Anthony? Yeah, to win? yeah. Okay, Victor, you have been a brilliant housemate. This is your story in the house. Housemates four or five are Victor and Amelia. My name is Victor. Nineteen, <laughs> and uh, I'm a circus artist. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow. That is just amazing. When you're in here, you just absolutely freak out half the time because you just don't know how to take things. I think Victor is quite a a man's man. Oh! I've become really good friends with Victor, I would say. Hi. <laughs> Shove that on. Is that legal? In some countries. <laughs> Attention housemates, somebody's in the toilet. <laughs> we think they're having a poo-poo. That's a joke. I ask people for a toothbrush. They give me a toothbrush. And you know, five minutes ago, I asked for Angel. And they give me Angel. <laughs> I hate you and you make me cringe. Have you guys had all the cider? Yeah. I come back in and all the alcohol's gone. I don't care, though, because the beer was there. <laughs> He's just a dick, really. To me, you seem like you're suppressing a lot of anger. Yeah. I was happy in the beginning, now I'm fucked up. Victor, don't do that! If they can't respect me, how can I respect them? Victor! Mum is watching. You're not a bad guy. You're a good man. <laughs> you're the fucking funniest guy I've ever met. Get your top off. <laughs> Get your top off. I'm happy that I was myself from day one. <laughs> I'm happy I tried the whole thing. Okay, uh, Victor, we have a bit of a gift for you here to help you become more of a modern man. Um, 
think we can oh, get up from the shopping, but we've got Southall Hook there and there's some cleaning thank products. You so Ladies much. and gentlemen, the brilliant house today. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Oh, put yourself down there. Come on, give it up for Victor. Thank All you. right. That is it for Not For Long. Next week is going to be a rocky ride for all concerns as the housemates are going to be spewing at housemates uh, in an eviction neurobug uh, frenzy on Wednesday, Friday and Monday, which is where, of course, you'll be crowning the winner of Celebrity Hijack. Uh, stay tuned for the Big Mouth Boys coming up next. Don't forget to catch Liam and Victor in a Dermot sandwich, oh dear Lord, uh, on Little Brother Sunday at 7. We'll see you then. Good night. <laughs> Yeah. Amelia, come on. Yuck. Decorum. <laughs> well, no, I, I still like Liam, though. Still I still think he was a hit man. I really, I really like Liam. Oh, I still man. think Liam's a very, very wicked dude. I like Liam. There was yeah. just, we there was see cheering. it, but that, how they see of him is like... That's the thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's the thing. I, that's the thing. It doesn't matter how we see them. We can only defend them from where we are. It's just like when Jade went out and everyone... Like, who said it was Brian yeah. Sewell? Yeah, he said He said she was artificial, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, maybe she is. But what I saw from, of Jade, I liked. Obviously, it got annoying, yeah. like, Yeah, once. and Victor said it as well. She was false, so it looked like she was. You know what I mean? It... Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't I'm just trying to, trying to think of the demographic, like, the actual people that are watching. And I, I, I just think it's either... I, I think Anthony's still my front runner. No, no, he's not going to get with Callista. Well, no, he won't get with Callista. Yeah, but what the people have seen of it, True. they're not going to like that's it. That's like, that's like, that's like. They were in bed last real. night, then he went to the dining room last night to tell them everything. That's like. Anthony, 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 Anthony loves, the loves the dining room. <laughs> Oh my did god, you, he's in about, there at least five times a day. Is he? Yeah. Did you talk about he told about everything about. Yeah, yeah. How do you know?